Fact or Cap. And we're going to go through four stories here that took place uh, this past week or recently. And we're going to break down whether or not these are facts or lies or caps for all you guys. These caps, not those. Um, but we're starting out with Damian Lillard, who has had a rough go, Scotty. Um, so fact or cap, Dame is happy with the Bucks. Most recently... Damian Lillard at All-Star Weekend named his starting five of current NBA players. Did you see this? Uh, I did. And he named five players currently uh, that he would put on that roster. Himself, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and... Giannis, obviously. Bam out of bio. <laughs> I mean, Bam out of bio. Oh God! Is, is, say, no, no GM in his future. <laughs> Dude's not getting a GM role uh, or front office role. But. How bad does he want to be? Did he want to be in Miami? <laughs> like he's saying, Bam out of bio. Uh, in the off season, obviously Miami a Heat were the team that he wanted to go to, and everything else was just kind of falling in the wayside. But this is. Um, this is kind of an interesting piece because Dame is having probably one of his worst shooting seasons that he's ever had. Um, thir- three out of his last 12 games, Scotty, he shot under 40% from the field. So thir- in the 30% uh, in the last 12 games, only three have been above 40%. Um, They brought him in for offense, and he is not providing that offense. Uh, So based off of this, based off of, I mean, we saw in interviews on the weekend, uh, at All-Star Weekend, where Shaq was like, hey, go go back to your team and make sure you tell, if if, if this goes south, it's going to fall on three people. You? How is Dane the only other player than MJ that has won an All-Star Weekend event and the All-Star Game MVP out of 73 All-Star Weekends? That kinda blows my mind. Kinda crazy. Medic. Well, thank you for the bits, Medic, as always. That is kinda wild. It is kinda and crazy. I didn't, even, I didn't even know that until right now. I learned <laughs> even more tonight. See? We keep learning. We learned a lot tonight. Um, But Shaq was like, hey. You gotta get your shit together on your Bucks team because if it's if it falls apart, it's gonna fall on three people: you, Giannis, and uh, you, Giannis, and um, and Doc are the three. So you, you better go figure that out. And he's like, "Yep, yeah, I, I gotta figure that out." Like, I mean, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it fits. So, factor cap, Scotty. Dame is happy with the Bucks. I mean, this has to be cap. The Bucks right now are a mess. Dame, Dame literally is trying to win titles. He spent 1,800 years in Portland. Couldn't get one. Couldn't even make a final. Made one conference final. Um, goes to Milwaukee, and everyone's like, this is happening. Like, even, like, you hear Giannis talk, and he sounds super frustrated with everything. Uh, obviously, there was the news this week with... Uh, Doc Rivers making excuses and J.J. Redick not loving the fact that he always makes excuses. It's just a mess in Milwaukee. And on top of that, it's Milwaukee, Chris. He has to be in Milwaukee a good portion of the year. I don't even know. Where is Milwaukee? Is that in the continental U.S.? Is it's, that a U.S. place? It might. It, it, well, it, it of could course be it's in the continental because it's not, it's not an island. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, they make cheese there, Chris. Uh, yep. I don't know how much Damian Lillard likes cheese. If he likes cheese, maybe it is fact. Otherwise, this is cap. This team is not playing up to, you know, all the preseason projections. It just doesn't seem like a fit with him and Giannis and everything going on there. There's been a lot of turnover with coaches and all of that that we know about. And it just seems like it's a bit of a disaster and a train wreck. And for him to say the top five and leave off Giannis, that's intentional, Chris. That's, that's not on crazy. accident. He knows exactly what he's doing when he says that. That's crazy. So to leave him off, it doesn't seem, and Giannis just seems pissed off all the time. I don't think the relationships there is very good. Um, you, you know what's I, crazy? I could have done a factor cap about literally the entire Milwaukee Bucks. Because Giannis, I didn't even make this one. 
Giannis came out and was like, oh, I don't look at the news. I don't look at the papers. I don't look at anything. And I'll call cap on that, by the way, because everybody does. Everybody looks at what people are saying about them. I mean, because, you know, you want to hear the good stuff, but you always you, you hear the bad stuff, too. It, it comes with the, the territory, right? Like, I didn't think Jokic looked at all that stuff. And Jokic called out a couple of people last year. And I was like, there's no way Jokic is, like, listening to anybody. He barely even has, he doesn't have social media. He doesn't have an account. And even he listens to what people say about him. I'm like, Giannis is, is definitely. But anyways, I, I agree. Cap, this is total cap. He wanted to be in Miami. The fact that he put Bam out of bio, I mean, he didn't even put uh, Embiid. You could throw Embiid on that list. Your top five, you could put the Jokic, any, I mean, any of them. I mean, and to be fair, that was an awful list. It Just was, an awful list. It was a, yeah. I mean, who was it again? All right. Say so, it again. So it was him, him Steph, which Steph. Can't, can't hate on Steph, LeBron, Fine. KD. Uh, like, I, le- like LeBron right now? LeBron KD right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gross. Him right now, not at his peak. You're taking about a, a bunch of old, old, ball. these are, these are all guys like that are in their, 30s mid 30s basically yeah it's 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 crazy and i think and then bam out of bio who's maybe a little slightly younger than that but i think maybe this this could be a hot take but if the bucks have a shit season and it just blows up in their face and then going into next year they have a similar dysfunction you might see this franchise blow up. You might see Giannis going in a different direction real soon. Giannis, I don't think, is sold on being in Milwaukee long term. Giannis has rumored <laughs> himself to be on the move every year. Every year. So of the year after they won the title. <laughs> crazy. That was the one year he's like, I can't wait to get back. And since then, it's he's like, which is kind of exhausting. Like, I... <sighs> That's the one thing I hate about the NBA. It's just like, oh, you lose a couple years. You're like, well, I'm just going to leave to another team because I can't win here. Yeah. Be better, dude. Yeah. Be better. Uh, I feel like the Doc hiring has made it worse. Uh, the Doc hiring has not worked the out. The Doc hiring always makes it worse. It, it, and again, Doc making adjustments in the playoffs is kind of like, you got to think that. That's kind of the big picture thing. They have played more inspired defense, and that's not saying much because they've gotten like, what? five or six uh, spots better in the average uh, defensive rating um, over that time. And they're playing a little bit better in clutch situations, but it's not enough. It's not enough. And there's just, a d- yeah, Dame's defense is ass. And if you're not getting it from him from an offensive standpoint, and he's shooting 30% it range, field goal 30% in, tw- in uh, nine of his last 12 games, you didn't bring him here to shoot 30% from the field. That's not what you brought him here for. Um, so there you have it. Cap. We agree it is Cap. Next up. Everyone in the poll did too. <laughs> See, we're sweeping Ooh. this. Uh, factor Cap. Uh, Luca and Joker will play on the same team at some point in their careers. Fact or Cap. Do you want me to go first? Sure, I did the first, that uh, other one first. You go. Um, I'm going to say cap for a couple reasons. I would love for this to happen. By the way, we saw this at, uh, all weekend long. By the way, the, the stars were saying how much fun they had watching Jokic and Luka. And by the way, I did too. I know you saw a lot of the Twitter, all the stuff, the besties. They're throwing water down each other's backs. They're, th- they're playing knockout. They're... Um, you know, just having a blast on All Star Weekend. Which, by the way, Adam Silver's probably shitting a brick. Like, please make this competitive. And Jokic and Luca are just like sh- just fucking around on the court, right? So it's like, all right, well, what what can you do? Um, Everyone was fucking around on the court. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the hey, only hey, hey. I want to see it. I want to see it. But I'm going to say cap for the simple reason that we saw the uh, we I saw some audio, and you might have seen it too, chat about. The uh, Jokic is not leaving Denver. He likes it here, and he's not going anywhere. If he wants to, if if Luca wants to leave Dallas, then he can leave Dallas and come to Denver, and I would love it. 
there's a lot of logistical aspects that come into play with that. So uh, when it comes to how much we would have to give up to get Luca, who we would have to give up, um, and then what kind of team that would look like. Because, I mean, Luca does need the ball a little bit more than, you know, like uh, Jamal Murray, who's definitely more, but um, you know, able to move the ball around and, you know, take some of those quality shots. And there's like a seamless thing going on with Jokic and, and Murray. But, like, you would have to make some of those moves. And how much that would change up the dynamic of the fits of all of our role players and everything else. And then also, you know, this Dallas would have to tr figure out how to do that too. So you'd have to, I mean, cap wise, it would be a nightmare. <laughs> you'd have to figure out how to figure out that, that it, there's just, there's more to it than just simple having fun and getting him on the roster with Jokic. So for that, I say cap. I just don't see the logistics working out. I want to go against you because I think, you know, I have a different opinion, devil's advocate or whatever it was. So I was like, I'm going to say, I'm going to say fact, but like, I just, I don't, I don't think it is fact. And I couldn't pull off an argument that I thought was legitimate. Um, yeah, they're, they're great friends and they love each other, but like, AJ, how is that going to work? Like, we don't know. I mean, there's a lot of speculation on how long Joker is going to play. Is he going to play till the only way this combination happens is if both teams likely are, you know, they're kind of on their like Warriors Lakers end of the, the spectrum where like they're aging, they're leaving their window and they're like, oh, Warriors are like, oh, let's trade for LeBron. Like that would be what the Nuggets would have to do. And I like, let's trade for Luca or vice versa. Although, as you said, Jokic said he's very happy in Denver and has no plans of leaving and doesn't want to leave. Um, which is great to hear for us, Chris. Oh, I love that. And and quite frankly, I don't know if and this uh, people can hate on this, like with how Yoke plays and trading Luca for Murray straight up, I don't even know if I would do. Right now. <laughs> Fit today is, the fit is seamless murray yes. murray and joker are so good together murray is going to be a better defender than luca he doesn't need the ball quite as much but they can he can have the ball he's a better shooter than luca from from deep um which this nuggets team needs like i i don't even think luca would be a better fit or that, that would make a better team than a straight up trade for jamal so in my opinion and you know i'm a jamal stan uh so Neither. i love i love me some jamal is stan is that cool is that like a it, younger i mean you're, younger yeah it, it, wreck is that a younger thing is that a younger stan it is okay yes. there it is hey me seamlessly throw that in there hey uh, i'm super hip um but uh no honestly i just like would they love to play with each other that sounds weird. Uh, on the same team? <laughs> Bruh. I wasn't going there until you said that. Uh, on the same team? Yeah. Yeah, they would. But uh, I don't know. I, I would be surprised if it ever happens. Yeah. It, I mean, they're, it, they're adults. They don't need to they'd be like, I have to play with my best friend. Like, they'll be fine. <laughs> and they're going to make a lot of money. So, yeah. And, I mean, of, of everybody, I think the ego for Yoke, I mean, he, he understands the business of it, too. He's not like, if you don't get him here, it, it, it ain't like like Giannis and his brother, right? Uh, we keep coming back to the Bucks. LeBron, uh, <laughs> and we'll be we'll the be Nassus. back to the Bucks. The Nassus, my boy. The Nassus, <laughs> Nassus, Nassus. Gosh, that guy. One person says fact. One person says fact. Okay, there we go. All right. A dreamer. I like it. Um. All right. Next up, Tatum is the best in the league. Fact or cap? This is coming off what recently we heard in an interview saying that, and again, we always hear that players should advocate for themselves. Draymond said he's the best defender of all time or best defender in the league. Um, you know, you, you you know, you stand on how you feel you are, how good you are, and you know, there's that confidence. But Tatum saying he's the best in the NBA. Fact or cap, Scotty? I mean, <laughs> Chris, by what metric? By what, like, is it individual success? Is it team success? Because he's not close on either. Uh, um, I could win easily a title put, yeah. along with, I don't know, like, you're not 
No, no, you're not the best player. Chris, you have a whole article on why he relies too much on his mid game. Um, he's been on a, a really talented stacked roster in Boston. That's been favored to come out of the East at least several years and hasn't been able to do it. Lost to a Miami team that they certainly were more talented than last year. Uh, I don't want to hear you saying you're the best in the league until you do something about it. Uh, super talented guy. Never been never been top three in MVP voting, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Unless he was third last year, but I don't think he was. I think that might have... Well, I, I, I don't know. I think he was outside of the... Because it was Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic last year okay. uh, for pretty much the he entire season. like SGA after that. Like, he might not have been top five. You haven't been... You know, top three MVP candidate. You haven't won. You've choked a little bit in the playoffs. You have been like, like you're a mid range guy and you like, you have nice pieces around you that help you a lot. I don't like, listen, Tatum, say whatever you want. Like, you got to show confidence and be like, yeah, I'm the best player. There's no, there's no way in hell he mentally can believe that, right? Or he needs to see like a sports psychologist for like having a widely misconceived notion of the player that he is. I don't like I for me I don't even know if he's top 10. And I think most people would put him in top 10, but for me, I don't know if he's a top 10 player in the league, much less the best player in the league. This is cap. We don't have to spend a lot of time on this. No. This is silly. What are you doing? Yeah, uh it's cap. Uh I could think off the top of my head at least 7 players real quick. Uh, that are better than him right now. Uh, that I would take in a series. That I would take. Just is Jalen is Jalen Brown one of those? <laughs> Jalen Brown is not one of those. <laughs> no, he lost some points on his uh, dunk contest that he's never going to be invited back to ever again. Uh, I mean, I would put Jokic above him. I'd put Giannis above him. I'd put Doncic, Luca. I'd put Embiid. Embiid above him. I'd put Curry above him. I'd put SGA above him. Kawhi it beats him out. Um, I would I put KD. KD's having an insane year. Uh, given how KD's been, you know, kind of up and down over the latter end of his career, I would still take KD over him. That's book, maybe even book. Book. I think Devin Booker is a stud. I mean, yeah. So you, there's nine right there that I would take over Jason Tatum. Ant. I mean, Ant, yeah. I mean, Ant's, Ant may not be there yet, but I, he will be there very soon. I mean, I might take Jimmy Butler over Tatum. The way Jimmy, the, the baller gene, the way he can like lead a team, the way he can put a team on his back. All right, throw me Jimmy Butler over, over Jason Tatum at this point. I mean, there's, and we're not even getting into the LeBrons and all the, you know, some of these others. So it's like, it's, it, come on, man. Uh, I get it. I get it. I mean, people are trying to say that he's going to be an MVP this year. Sure, maybe maybe he can creep into that MVP conversation. I don't know where he's at from a MVP uh, standpoint on the uh, on the. I haven't looked, but let me take a quick look because I'm I'm just curious. But uh, he's mean... probably top four if I'm uh, top five. I would say uh, he's fifth. So yeah, uh, fifth behind Giannis, Luca, SGA, and Jokic. He's just. I just don't see him until he wins. And there was there's conversations of whether or not he's the face of the NBA moving forward. I'm like, you have to win a couple championships before you can become a face, in my opinion. Like, win something. Uh, People and are trying to turn him into, like, the Kobe of this generation. It's just like, I can't. I'm not there. I'm not there. Anthony Edwards will pass him on the stardom level probably faster. Um, I love how how you guys give SGA his flowers. SGA is a baller, man. He's he's so good, and he's. I was skeptical. It took me a little bit, but shoot, the Thunder owned the Nuggets this year, so. And he's uh, been a big part of that. He's owned us. MVP of the mid jump shot mindset. Did you know? Did you? And I'm going to talk about this in my contenders bracket tomorrow. But did you know that the Boston Celtics? take the highest amount of three-point shots. Uh, I think it's like the fourth highest amount of three-point shots in the NBA. I No, no, number one in that. And then they are third worst in points in the paint. 
even with Kristaps Porzingis, that's not going to translate well to postseason success if that stays the way it is. Uh, I'm telling you right now. Uh, tatum has been drinking whatever Kool-Aid his agent has been giving him. Um, what about Cat? Third worst? Yeah. No, I think he's he's referring to what you just said about third worst. That's not related to Cat. Cat is not. Cat's not in my. Uh, no, no, not a cat fan. <laughs> You're a dog guy. I am a dog guy, but I'm also not a Carl Anthony Towns fan. Uh, yeah. Never have been, never will be. Dude's soft. Yeah, Carl Anthony Towns, he melts away in the playoffs uh, historically. And that team is kind of young, and they have a lot to work out. I mean, they're, they're very, very good. Don't get me wrong. They're in the contenders. Uh, but uh, All right, last one here before we get to our last game of the night. Um, and this is regarding Doc. Oh, back to Milwaukee. Oh, back to Milwaukee. I could have done all of these on Milwaukee, realistically. Um, Doc shouldn't be a coach. Uh, Factor cap. This is Doc's last coaching gig. Uh, is it me first or is it you? It's you first. You know, we've agreed on every, every single one of these. And part of me wants well, to. You can agree again. Part of me wants to make an argument. I how do you even know what I'm going to say? <laughs> part of me, because it's obvious. Part of me wants. I don't think. I don't think. I think it's less obvious than you think. I don't. I'm you not know, even. We know sure. what the answer should not, be. Yeah, but well, that doesn't mean that's what the. Uh, no, we know what maybe we feel the answer should be, but does the NBA feel that should be the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's fair. So I'm going to say. Is this Doc's last coach? This is Doc's last coaching gig. That is fact. I'm gonna go fact. Um, now, I just think Doc. He, I, I think he likes the booth, man. I think he likes. He gave up a cush job with ESPN, and he gave up the finals. Who they put JJ Redick on the finals now? But JJ Redick took his spot for you know, broadcasting rights for the NBA finals for ESPN and Doc's sitting here getting roasted on all-star weekend about how this team isn't, isn't, uh, you know, they're so part, they're partly in Cancun and partly here. He's, he's getting grilled on how he should be coaching this team. They're three and seven and he's giving away his all-star game check to a coach that got let go. And, this is, the, this is the chaos that he's going through. He admitted that it's not gonna, not as easy as he thought it would be. Um, so it's just, it, I mean, he's too old for this, man. He's too old for this. Doc looks like an old dude in a nursing home yelling at the TV about how the basketball game was rigged and throwing his jello at the nursing home staff. Time for that dude to retire. <laughs> dude. Lol. Thank you, medic. That's hey. very suspiciously specific. Hey, thank you so much. My man. Appreciate that for the hundred bits. Um, and and then yeah, I mean, there's been all the stuff on ESPN with JJ calling out the areas of of Doc's kind of owning of everything that's happening and whether or not he's accountable. And it's just why be stressed out at this age, Scotty? I'm going to go fact. I can't, can't agree on everything. I'm going to go cap here, Chris. <laughs> I'm going cap. I, and, uh, if you weren't going to go cap, I was. I, ain't, I am not, I'm not hiring Doc ever as my head coach. But in the NBA, people, I mean, he's on his, he's on his fifth gig. He's got nine lives, Chris. Speaking of cats, we were just talking about him. He's got nine lives. Uh... If he fails in Milwaukee, people forget about it. I mean, he failed in Philadelphia. He failed with the Char or the Chargers, the Clippers. I'm looking at LAC here, and I'm like, I mean, yeah. they're the same thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of the same, same instance. Zero titles and just constantly underachieving. So, the dude's been an incredible regular season coach through his time. He's had a lot of talent to work with, but still has almost a 60 60 percent win percentage in the regular season. But he's like a 500 coach in the in the playoffs with a team teams that have should have performed far far better than than what they did. Now, 
with Boston, he performed pretty decent, uh, at least had some runs, but those teams kind of ran themselves. Like, I don't even know what he was coaching. I don't know what I would not do. Like, I don't know. This might be his last gig with like a team that has high expectations, but for a team that's like, you know, maybe middling that you're like trying to win a lot of regular season games. You're trying to build up your attendance, get interest in the team and build up like your fan base within the community. Maybe you've been struggling for a while. Now you finally have a team that might be able to like get in the playoffs. Maybe doc might be your guy and then just have them not watch the playoffs to save themselves from the (laughs) inevitable of losing in in ridiculous fashion in the postseason but because he seems to get gig after gig you know he took like what you know was it even it wasn't even a half season off um he was he was named one of the 15 greatest coaches in nba history in 2022 apparently i'm looking at an award here i don't know who gave that award but they should be I mean, those people should be removed from their award giving immediately. <laughs> Stu's nowhere near one of the top 15 coaches of all time. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll say Cap. He gets he gets at least one, if not two more gigs after this. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a there's a chance that I mean, a younger team or like I he he needs a team that's not going to be dysfunctional that he inherited like. He inherited some big personalities and some dysfunction with this team and high expectations. That's not. It doesn't sound like a job that is going to be smooth sailing when you have those three combinations: egos, expectations, like, nah, and, and dysfunction. It, it's not going to work. So, I just, yeah, may, maybe. I don't know why you'd pass up on just chilling on the sidelines and calling some games, but. There you go. McDuggets, I'm not giving him heat for the Mc or I, well, the Bucks collapse, although they've been worse under him. But he was he was brought in to fix it. He he hasn't fixed anything at this point. If anything, it's got more dysfunctional. I mean, and everyone's blaming everyone. No one wants to take responsibility and it just seems like it's trending in the very wrong direction. I mean, if you like the East is a mess. Right, I mean the East kind of is all. I mean you have a couple teams that are competitive, but you know when it comes to I know the, this argument's been thrown out all, all over the the whether it's Boston or the field. What are you taking? I think you got to take Boston. <laughs> like he, Boston's the only answer on that. Like the field, you don't see. I mean as 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 great as as the Cavs are playing, as great as and again I'll talk about all this tomorrow. Uh, the Knicks and some of these other teams. It's 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 Boston over the field uh, in the East. Let's just put it that way. That's your fifth factor cap right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that's Boston a- more likely to win the East than the field? Fact. You say fact. I say fact. I'll say cap until I see it. I can't believe it. And you're right. I don't think the East is any good, but. Maybe Miami makes it back. Our hope is Miami. Our hope is Miami that Miami gets back into that mix because I think that would be, I'll take Miami Nuggets finals again. Um, All right.